Hey guys, and welcome back to another Kawaii episode of Calibrated Gamer. Today, I'm playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, this super cutesy looking anime dating simulator style game uh, has a lot more hiding underneath it. It's actually a psychological horror game, and I know it doesn't look like it, and that's kind of the point. So, if you're under the age of 13, or if you have any troubles dealing with the topics of suicide, self-harm, etc., please do not watch this series. I'm going to give this warning basically every episode. I know nothing about this game except for the fact that it does give this warning and that it requires you to be over the age of 13 to play it, let alone watch it, and that apparently touches on those subjects. So we're about to read the warning right now, actually. Um, this this game, game is not suitable for children or for those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit the website down below. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years yeah, of age yeah, and you yeah, consent yeah. to... Uh, yeah, that's, um... The exposure of I'm violent... sorry. Mm. Robot? Yes. Hey, buddy. How's it going? How's it going? Oh, would you hit your voice back? At the beginning of the last episode. Oh... Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't watch that episode. It made me sad. Yeah, I uh, I noticed that. Well, that's great, buddy. I'm glad you guys gone. All right, cool. Anyway, robot got his voice back. That's kind of cool, right? I think it's cool. Oh, but yeah, Doki Doki Literature Club. We gotta start this game. This game is not suitable for children and those that are easily disturbed by the topics mentioned. So, if you are any of those things, please do not watch. But, for the rest of us, we are going to play Doki Doki Literature Club. Never played this game before. I'm going to give my name as Caleb, because I would do a silly name, but I kind of like characters saying my name. You know, it's like... <clears throat> hey! Imagine this is a girl. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today? It just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long? We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she'd oversleep more and more frequently, and I'd get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me out like this, I'm almost better running off. Running away. <laughs> However, I just sigh and I don't unfriend the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. You say that like you're thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Caleb. Well, if people are stare at you for acting weird. I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. And I'm kind of a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Commute. By the way, Caleb, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm not- oh, I told you already, I'm not really <laughs> interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. <laughs> I'm a jerk! <laughs> Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content with just getting by on average while spending my free time on games and anime. Same, bro. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried about you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. Aw. I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What? You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. 
I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Ah, Sayori. Sayori. The school day is as ordinary as ever. It's over before I know it. As if after I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Just so you know, high school is not like that. It goes on forever. I actually enjoyed most of high school, but the uh, portions that I hated... Eons. Clubs. Sayori, Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. No choice. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there spacing out, so I came in. Do we all use the terminology spacing out? Or is that just bad dialogue? How, honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie, I love her cute face. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. The Doki Doki Literature Club. Well, Doki Doki Panic. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. But don't most book clubs with women, they just, like, don't actually read the book. They, like, talk about guys and stuff. I don't know. I've seen too many movies. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. How do you... Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring in a new member, and it's going to be a cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to plan all this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? I also would have stopped by for a cupcake, but I'm a nice person, so I would have stayed a while and gotten a second cupcake. Yeah, let's go! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> Lay it on a little thick there, buddy! I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. I was searching a school already visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. <laughs> Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the classroom. Glance. Hi, you're cute. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Siri always, always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Caleb! What a nice surprise! Welcome to the club. Uh, are those contacts, or am I in an anime dating simulator game? Is this Hootie Pop? <laughs> All words escape me in this situation. This club. Is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. This is so cute. <laughs> so daddy. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly in my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. <laughs> anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. T don't say things like that. Okay, I figured she was a shy one for some reason. I don't know. Yuri, who appears comparably be more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Atsuki. Yuri, who uh, I just said, I just read that. 
<laughs> oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Wait, I'm getting girls confused. Is this my... This isn't my friend from earlier. I don't know. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Caleb. Monica smiles sweetly. Aww. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Too, Monica. Come sit down, Caleb. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts a fool off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Aww. The whiskers are drawn with icing. Little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. She's even got the little, like, the little vampire tooth that a tsundere would have. So cute. Oh, not gonna remind me, though. Just hurry and take one. Sierra grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Sierra talks with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. <laughs> me! That is the biggest mood of this game so far. I cannot eat cupcakes for the life of me. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. I, I don't like you, B -b Baka. <laughs> is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? It's almost like this is a stereotypical anime dating simulator video game. Made them for you or anything? Yeah, thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe. B -b Baka, but not for you, you dummy. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Alright, alright. I give up on Atsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea s You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help to enjoy a good book? I'd rather have milk with my cupcake, but I don't even like tea. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> huh? That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. That's not true. I've recently been addicted to coffee because of my girlfriend. Don't tell her I'm playing this game. Just kidding. She won't mind. It's an adorable game. That's horror. For some reason. <laughs> um, but... I don't typically read books as much as I should. I listen to audiobooks, but I mostly play video games. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the Literature Club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet. Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make sure the club is fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the other major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? You know, the debate club where all the members dis disappeared mysteriously? <laughs> well, you know. 
To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but, but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get in literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri nods in agreement. But I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting in all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident we can all really grow this club before we graduate. I don't know why I just threw the stutter there. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. Baka! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Now which one am I going to date? Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Caleb, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, well... Considering how little I've read over these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Ma, ma, manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. <laughs> I love her. She's adorable. Not much of a reader, I guess. Oh, well, that can change. So, uh, how about you, me, the good book, your place? <laughs> what am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Geary? They're hypnotizing me! <laughs> Get out while you still can! <laughs> well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on and on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her book eyes, her books light up that she finds the comfort in the world of eyes, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Deep psychological elements, eh? Like a psychological horror game? Are you gonna kill me, Yuri? Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberate, take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror ra lately. Oh, have you? Ah, I read a horror book once, I hated it. Actually, horror is my... And when I read books, I read horror. I usually read Agatha Christie, although I've read different books. Um, but that's typically my go-to for books. I own more of, like, Edgar Allan Poe, and and I don't own many books, but, like, the few I own are horror, so... Uh, it's in my blood, I don't know. I desperately grasp something that I can relate to at a minimal level. I, I like boobs. You have them. Let's talk. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you... Takes out a knife. I don't know which of these girls are doing what, or if they're coming after me, or if they're not. I don't know anything about this game. I'm just assuming they're all crazy. But probably only one of them is. Looking at you, President! <laughs> but then again, any of you could be, so I don't know. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, and it takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. I love her. She's adorable. <laughs> That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Nasuki? What? What gives you that idea? 
He left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looks like you were work working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. B -b -b baka <laughs> Sayori saddles up behind Nizuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Oh my god, you're adorable! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Hey, yo! My man! <laughs> no! Hey, yo! Rejected! <laughs> Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Showing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Alright, get out of here with your... But I'm, I'm talking to the little one, alright? <laughs> one at a time, ladies, come on. You must be willing to open up your, to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing you the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you could set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <sighs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. No, oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Terrible, awkward anime silence. Okay! I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Uh, yeah! Let's do it! Plus, now we have a new member. I think it'll help us all get a little more com comfortable with each other. And it'll strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Caleb? Uh... Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I've bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I'd join the club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I've never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and I'm... Um, lose my train of thought. Oh, they're all staring at me! All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... But... Come on, Caleb! <laughs> Give the girls a try! Maybe you like the club after all. I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Caleb. Oh, I want to join the club, but y'all are going to get me killed. <laughs> you all. Y'all. I'm defenseless against these girls. Yeah, it's a Caleb I know. My brain is getting better. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if running poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Me too! Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Caleb, I look forward to seeing you express yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm interested in seeing me express myself too. Can I really impress the class star in Monaco with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. I love writing poetry! I would love this thing, but unfortunately I'm not me, so... Meanwhile, as the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Caleb, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she stays after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. God, Sayori, ugh, oh, why did you be so nice and friendly? Ugh. Oh. Yay. 
With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Oh <gasps> yeah! Perhaps I'll have a chance to, to grow closer to one of these girls. <laughs> Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. That's so cute. Oh my gosh! Oh, I do get to pick the poem. That's kind of cool. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club character might will like. Something good will happen. Whoever likes your poem the most. Oh, shoot. Crap. Crap. What character do I like the most? I like them all. They're all really cute. I kind of want to go after, like... Mmm. Mmm. It's good music, though. Um. Okay. Well. First of all, let's save. Because it'd be dumb of me if I didn't save more often. Um. Okay. Well. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go after Yuri. The, um. The shy one, I'm pretty sure her name is Yuri. So, horror? Okay. Uh. Okay. Depression? Oh. Why did you jump? Why was depression your trigger? I want to know more about why she did that! Okay, uh. Misfortune. I saw that! <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna choose her by accident. Um. Okay, Wrath. That. Um, let's see. Hopeless, alone, grief. I, uh. Raindrops. Okay, uh. I'm having a little bit of trouble here. Vertigo. Fear. Why were you fear? She's the one that likes horror! You're just a perky. Upbeat girl! You know what I mean! Duh! <laughs> Choosing the wrong girl! Flee! That's a horror word! Massacre! Thank you! <laughs> Adventure? I'm not I'm not getting the Zoderic girl at all! <laughs> um Fantasy! Okay. Um Inferno? Okay. Um. Incapable. Okay. T t entropy. Cool. Um. Not less, though I'm kind of interested in knowing what character. Oh! Is that the game we're playing? Okay! Alright! Okay! Alright! Uh, okay! Alright! Okay! Okay! I can work with this! <laughs> Hi again, Caleb! Glad to see you didn't run away on us! <laughs> Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least kept keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Caleb. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Siori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you s certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga clutching in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki, you find yourself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! 
swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry guys, Caleb always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with my busy work without me even asking. That is true, I am passionate about things, and when I am passionate, I do them very well. Like cooking, cleaning my room, not those things. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. You almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh, are you jealous? Are you really? Well, maybe I have a proposition for you then. How come? You and Caleb can become good friends too. Yeah, we can. Uh, um, Sayori. Hmm? Hmm. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Hmm. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, at the beginning of the next episode, hopefully we'll get to see what poem I wrote for Yuri. <laughs> as well as, you know, more of this. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Like and comment down below if you want to see more Doki Doki Literature Club. Comment down below if you want to see more of this game, because I actually might stop recording for the night. Um, but, more specifically, let me know what other games that I need to get back to, etc. Um, some of the more higher processing games I'm kind of staying away from, uh, because my laptop's been acting funky. But, games like this, you know, little RPG, etc., perfect. So, thank you for watching, like and comment down below, stay calibrated by subscribing, and until next time, I will see y'all in that next episode. Bye, everyone! Thank <laughs> you.